been a projection from ESPN about the standings of the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference about who will be slotted in the one seed and the eight seed. So we're going to go through that right now. So the Eastern Conference, uh, the top seeded team right uh, project, projected is the Boston Celtics. And right behind them, the number two seed will be the Cleveland Cavaliers following the Washington Wizards, Milwaukee Bucks, Charlotte Hornets, the Toronto Raptors, the Miami Heat, and Detroit Pistons. So what do you guys think about the projection that, you know, even our own Toronto Raptors are pretty low on the I was, I was surprised about that. Like, They're on I, a sixth seed. They're projected to have 43.4 wins. So they don't, they don't project, like, how many losses they get. So yeah. around 43 wins they might be getting. Uh, I, I think they can hover around 48, 50 wins right now just because of how the East stacks up. But I, I'm, I'm, you know, uh, I'm surprised about the Raptors. But we still don't know yet how, you know, there's still a couple of spots they still need to fill out. But, uh, I, you know, I'm going Boston still. Like, depending on if Kyrie Irving gets traded, that's something that yeah. we have to keep in mind. He still hasn't been traded yet, yeah. right? He could still be at the training camp, right? And, you know, pro basketball players, if they're at the training camp, they're going to play, mm -hmm. right? I don't think Kyrie's the kind of person that, hey, you haven't traded me yet. What, what, what's happening, right? He's going to play out and he's going to ball out for the Cleveland Cavaliers. So, it all depends. So, but I see that. I can see where they're coming from in terms of Boston. I'm not surprised in terms of Milwaukee Bucks. I think they could be higher depending if Jabari Parker comes back yeah. from his injury. And, um, you know, I, I think Miami Heat is, should be hovering around 4-5. to five. I think they're a better team than what they... Because if you watch the second season, they were, they were the best team in the East, if you really think, record-wise. So, so it's, really, it's, hard, it's hard to have the Heat go up because, like, who are you going to take down, right? We got... We got the Washington Wizards at the three three seed, Milwaukee Bucks at the four, and I, I'm I'm just really astonished by how the, the Toronto Raptors at the, they projected them at the six seed. What, what, do you, what do you think about the list so far? I'd say uh, probably Washington Wizards in the third and Raptors right in the fourth. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, and, Hornets. Um, like, Hornets. I say they're a little bit down. Maybe they maybe take over the seven seed. They're, they're, I think they're overrating Dwight Howard. I don't think he's that of an impact really. Um, as looking at his age and his history of injury the past few years, I don't think he, he will make that crazy of a difference in terms of how the Hornets play. So I do see one, two, three in Boston, Cleveland hovering around that too. I do think Raptors would be at four or five. Mm -hmm. And then I think Milwaukee is also in that four and five category. And I do think Miami is a third. I think so, they could be the third best team. Sorry to cut you off. What, what were you gonna say? Um, you know what? Sixers might sneak in if uh, they stay healthy. Oh, and he's, he's trusting the process. Yeah. The, 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 <laughs> did you see the set, they the projected uh, 76ers as the ninth seeded? Ninth seeded. Yeah. yeah. So they put them really high up. Uh, that's, that's high expectations that, that's for the team. Mean, that's um, too far. That's like Lakers saying they're gonna make the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much like since most of the good players transferred to the West side, um, most teams have a better chance of joining the playoffs this year that, that weren't there in the past years they could be the dark horse team like i don't think detroit Pistons is gonna i don't know i'm not yeah because that... of avia bradley i can see that they did lose uh, kcp but then they gained Br bradley which i think is a better player than kcp so i could see that but they still have a hole in their point guard position i don't think reggie jackson is that solid of a point guard, and you need a legit point guard when you want to, if you want to make it that far in the playoffs. The projected wins, they say, they say a lot. So from the 76ers down to uh, from the Magic, the Pacers, and Knicks, that in that order, they're around 32 wins. So yeah. that if that do say this would happen at during the playoffs, like before the playoffs, any any team between that eight to 12 seed can actually get into playoffs, sneak in, yeah. and face probably the Celtics and the Cavaliers. Yeah. And that, I mean that says a lot. They they do think Boston is probably the, going to be the best team, depending if Kyrie leaves yeah. and depending on the switch up. Exactly. And there's also the the Carmelo Anthony wherever he's going to go yeah. as well. Yeah, but at the end of the day, the only thing that matters really right now is either Boston and Cleveland. So let's go to the West. Like I want to see. Okay, quickly what since they, we don't yeah. we don't have much time. Let's go to the West because that's at the end of the day. <laughs> West is, <laughs> they're packed. They're super yeah. packed. All right, from the center, from the top. The Warriors at the front. The Rockets are right behind them by the second seed. San Antonio Spurs. Timberwolves at the fourth seeded. Five is the Oklahoma City Thunder. Six is Clippers. Seventh is the Nuggets. And eight as the Utah Jazz. So we don't have too much Ooh. time, but what do you guys think? I think Timberwolves, that's a 
pretty big jump from where they I'm, were. You know, I'm, you know, it depends if they do land Kyrie, but I don't. I see them as a seven or eight. They still need to work out defensively because I don't think they've proven Andrew Wiggins yet as a two-way player, nor is uh, Jeff Teague. But they do have talent, and they still have the hole in the four spot. It's they do have Taj, mm -hmm. but I, you know, Cavaliers. I, I mean, Warriors is for sure. And I do think San Antonio should be second. I don't think. Uh, I think Rockets are gonna have a flop sometime in the season. It's just the way their offense runs. Like I don't think they're gonna make it third or second. I, I'd see them as a four or five team. You definitely won't see the Rockets like click. Yeah. yeah. Especially the. I mean, not just the Rockets. Any team that has new players, just like with CP3 and Harden to get, uh, joining together for the first time, yeah. they're not gonna click right away. It's, they're gonna. It's, it's gonna not take just some that time. though. It, it's also the the makeup of the team. The rest of their players are not good defensively. The rest of the, you know, they still have a lot of holes to fill in because they gave up a lot to get Chris Paul. What do you think about it? Any thoughts on the Western Conference role before we end the segment? Uh, I'll probably switch uh, Nuggets and Jazz with maybe Pelicans and Trailblazers. Oh yeah, the Trailblazers. I was thinking that too. Trailblazers like, aren't even the playoffs. I, I would take out the Clippers actually. If, I, if it was me, I would take out the Clippers and, and I think the, the Trailblazers would make it, not the Clippers this year. Yeah, and I'm calling, uh, you know, um, Dark Horse, Lakers, back to the playoffs. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, is, has the Lonzo fever or the Kyle Kuzma fever? Uh, you know what? They're, good. They're both good players. You know, I'm excited for my team, Lakers. <laughs> hey, man, we got to see. Yeah. I mean, these are just projections, so we just cannot wait for the NBA season to start very soon in October.